you need all that room, then you put that down. But uh, I never ever bothered putting it down. My, I sat in a little area, see, about this this long back of the co pilot seat. You never had to worry about using your radio equipment in combat, you just didn't use it. Uh huh. And uh, so I just was along for the ride, and uh, they'd tell me to open the bomb bay doors, and the handle was just right down under this deck. And I just reached down with my foot and pushed the handle. And then just right out, see that far from me, there's the, the open bomb bay door. See. So it was all hydraulics? Yeah, all hydraulics. And, and I often thought later, if anything would have happened where I'd have got hit and knocked unconscious and fell out of there, because you never, you have your parachute harness on, but the old bread loaf thing with the pack, I never ever thought of wearing it, you know. But uh, I got thinking in later years, I should have been wearing it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, because if the Bombay doors were open, you could have pitched yeah. right out of there. Yeah, so you got hit in the head or something. Right. You'd have rolled on out of there. And so, but uh, one, uh, uh, what, would, uh, what would be the word, uh, way of demonstrating what you should wear, this one, my, kind of my monk right there slept above me there in prison camp, Tommy Garton from West Virginia. He was in a B-17 and uh, he was a waste gunner. He said he never, just like me, he never bothered with his chute. And that day, for some reason, he decided to put his chute on. Uh -huh. And they got hit, and that fuselage broke right at the, right at the window, and he got pitched out. No kidding. Huh. Wow. Well, that's a lucky day, so to speak. Yeah, what the hell made him think of it? He said, boy, he don't know what made him do it. Hmm. And, uh, and his t and then he said too, and uh, he heard that uh, he came in later in the prison camp after I did. But anyway, he heard that his tail gunner survived. He wrote that tail down and survived. He said somehow he heard by the grapevine through the Germans, I guess. And uh, by Jimmy, uh, see, the, I went in there in June. Well, uh, this was long in the fall, maybe. Why? In the compound across the way, there was some new prisoners coming in, and damn if his tail gunner went in there. Really? Yeah. How the heck could a guy survive well, something like that? You know, probably like a falling leaf. Uh huh. And just with the with the tail surfaces. Uh huh. He probably landed in a glide. No kidding. Isn't that amazing? Oh, well, you hear some awful stories, huh? Yeah. What other kind of stories did you hear about? Why you 